The computer came back with the names of 244 Russian-speaking company employees who have the last name beginning with the letter K, all of whom are expected to be away from Washington till Sunday, which brings me to the point that I have put on the back burner for 13 years. You need the patience of a saint for counterintelligence, nurturing seemingly meaningless bits of data, amassing and collecting thousands of unrelated facts, and creating an interlocking picture which really only comes into focus through your own interpretation and all the while you hear voices whispering behind your back. Mother's obsessed, they say, paranoid. A conclusion searching for confirmatory evidence, believe me. I heard it all. I heard every word. The information, Mother. How is new? If we could find Sasha's cutout, we could find Sasha. And that is what I've been waiting for all this time. 1961, the FBI stumbled across an old communist named Max Cohen, AKA Khan. Khan provided the perfect cover for a Soviet cutout who lived above his store, who delivered liquor to hundreds of clients in the Washington area. The cutout went by the name of Dodgson, which, curiously, is the real name of Lewis Carroll, author of Alice in Wonderland. Makes you wonder if Stark isn't like Lewis Carroll, creating worlds within worlds for all of us to get lost in. Dodgson got away, but I didn't forget him. Not for a moment. All these years nurturing bits, data seemingly meaningless pieces of evidence. You have to have the patience of a saint. James. I looked over Khan's delivery invoices for the past 10 years and discovered that sometime in the 50s, Dodgson had been delivering to a double agent my friend and former colleague, Adrian Philby. With Philby gone, it seemed logical to suppose that Dodgson would act as a cutout for Philby's replacement. What, his replacement? Sasha. Stark knew he could sacrifice Philby. Sasha was still delivering valuable information. Checking through Khan's clients, who had been on the receiving end of deliveries during the previous 10 years. I was able to identify the names of 167 full-time company employees and 64 contract employees. You matched the liquor delivery list against the names of company employees who were currently out of the country, whose last names began with K, and who spoke Russian? That's pretty damn clever, James. Seemed too good to be true. It was. None of the names cross-referenced. May have looked like a dead end to the ordinary eye. But not to mine. Last Saturday, as my wife was on the telephone making restaurant reservations in her maiden name, security precautions, it hit me Sasha could have a wife. Sasha could have his wife order the liquor from Khan's using her maiden name. In the six years between Philby's disappearance and Max Khan's arrest, I've compared the maiden names of the wives Dotson had delivered liquor to against the suspects from the Pinnacle Leeds. That's brilliant. So what was the maiden name? You're not going to like it. What?